Alden Films presents the Emanuel Collection of audio compact discs and DVDs, a series of lectures by J. David Davis, Dr. James Tabor, Rabbi Michael Katz, Rabbi Israel Chait, and other leading luminaries in the Noahide movement. What is the Noahide movement? This question revolves around the role of non-Jews in this world and in the world to come. This leads to even deeper questions. How did Christianity differ from Judaism? Were the early followers of Jesus Jews or proto-Christians? Can the New Testament be read as a commentary on the Jewish Bible, the Tanakh, instead of as scriptures? Is the Book of Revelation a work of Kabbalistic literature? Is the Gospel of John more a panegyric to the Greek Logos than an account of Jesus? How does Judaism relate to the Noahides, and which scriptures are relevant to the Noahide movement? These are some of the questions and answers that are discussed on these CDs and DVDs, recorded live at the annual Noahide Conference and at meetings of the Emanuel Study Center in Athens, Tennessee. This DVD, Idolatry, is presented by Rabbi Israel Chait. Rabbi Chait has lectured at Emanuel since 1991. He is Dean Rosh Yeshiva of B'nai Torah in Far Rockaway, New York. that I wish to discuss today is idolatry. And uh, I've heard some of you have mentioned, uh, well, what is there to speak about idolatry? Don't do it. But in Torah, as you know, Torah is the world of knowledge, and nothing in Torah is simple. The principles of our faith, 13 principles of our faith, I, and I'm sure every other rabbi, is still in the process of studying. So we never really complete our investigations in Torah, and Torah is based upon knowledge. If you'll take a look at uh, Proverbs, Proverbs 8. If you take a look at Proverbs 8, 1 to 5, does not wisdom call an understanding, an understanding put forth her voice? She, she stands at the top of high places by the way where the paths meet. She cries out at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand, the next word really, uh, orma, means more than prudence, orma, means a kind of depth and cunning knowledge. And you fools be of an understanding heart. And then, of course, at this point, somebody might say, well, wisdom, people always say that what they think is wisdom. You can call almost anything wisdom. People have done this. Uh, how do we know what wisdom King Solomon is speaking about? In verse 11, he says, For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and fine knowledge and discretion. Very nice, but how do we know what exactly this wisdom is that he's talking about? But interestingly enough, he does explain what it is. If you take a look at 14, he says, I am understanding, I have strength. By me, kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule, and, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. Which means to say, how does a wise prince rule? Through knowledge, through wisdom, through understanding. But then he continues, that's political wisdom. Then he says that, um, 22, the Lord created me as the beginning of his way, the first of his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, before ever the, ever, before ever the earth was. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth, while as yet he had not made the earth, or the fields, or the highest part of the dust of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle over the surface of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when the fountains of the deep became strong, when he gave the sea its decree that the water should not pass his commandments, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then I was by him as a nursling, and I was daily his delight. Playing always before him. What is wisdom and what is the knowledge that King Solomon is speaking about, that the Torah is speaking about?